About a year ago, I reported a security vulnerability in a private program at HackerOne, which was initially marked as informative. And as you may have already guessed, I fought for that report and eventually I was able to change its status from informative to triage, which later on helped me to get a bounty of 500 US dollars. And you know the crazy thing is that this particular vulnerability was click jacking. Yes, a vulnerability which is often ignored by a lot of people. Not only that, there are several scenarios in which I was able to change my status of the report from informative to triage or accepted, which later on helped me to get some bounties or, you know, uh, helped me to get the reputation on that particular platform. If you are a beginner and you're thinking that how I was able to did that, then don't worry because in this video, I'm going to cover three ways through which you can change the status of your report from informative to accepted or triaged, which will later help you to increase your H1 or Hacker1 reputation. Not only Hacker1, you can, you know, use this on any other platform and eventually it will help you to improve your hacking skills. But as always, if you haven't checked out my previous video, then please feel free to go ahead and check it out. The link of the video is given in the description as well as you can see it at the right side of the screen and now with that being said let us get started one of the main difference between bug bounty and penetration testing is that in bug bounty you need to show the actual impact of the vulnerability you need to think like what a real hacker can achieve using this particular vulnerability. I have seen a lot of people who are new into cybersecurity and they try to find a vulnerability, but they are unable to show the actual impact of the vulnerabilities that they have found. And as a result, their report got marked as informative. So remember this thing that when you are doing bug bounty, always try to show the impact of whatever vulnerability that you have found, right? Whenever you're looking for vulnerability or whenever you have found a vulnerability, always think what can an attacker achieve using this particular vulnerability? Can they do some harmful activities like, you know, can they uh, harm the organization? Can they affect the uh, users, the clients, the servers and all those things, right? So it is very important. For example, let us take a look at one of my reports, which I submitted on Hacker One. So this particular vulnerability allowed me to get some address details of few users. Okay. Initially, this report got marked as informative because the Hacker One triage told me that you cannot find any other users apart from the users that you have mentioned because they have disclosed their uh, user ID or the, you know, tracking ID on the internet. I slowly started to show them how I can use this vulnerability and how I can actually guess the ID parameter and how this can lead to like getting address of any other user apart from the users who have disclosed their uh, tracking ID. And as a result, finally, the hacker and analyst agreed and marked this report as triage. And currently this report is still under investigation and it is like getting fixed by the company. So that's the thing, right? In the end, Always try to think that what can I achieve with this vulnerability and let's say that you have found a vulnerability that you cannot think that uh, it is much impactful, then try to chain the vulnerability with other vulnerabilities. We are going to talk more about this in the second section of this uh, uh, video. But remember these two things, right? Whenever you are finding a vulnerability, just think what can I achieve with this vulnerability and can I chain it with some other vulnerabilities because at the end, you need to show them the impact. Right now, let's move to the second point where I'm going to dive deep into this chaining with other vulnerabilities part. There are times when you have found a vulnerability that does not have a real world impact according to the bug bounty standards. And this is the reason why your report might get, you know, marked as informative, right? Now there can be many reasons for it, right? But one of the most common reason is that you might be reporting a low hanging vulnerability. Now, what is a low hanging vulnerability? Basically, these are vulnerabilities that does not have much impact according to the bug bounty standards. For example, vulnerabilities like login logout CSRF, um, open redirection, 
uh, click jacking, self excesses and a lot of other vulnerabilities that does not have that much impact, you know, to the organization will be treated as low hanging vulnerabilities as they don't have any much, you know, uh, much high impact, right? And this is the reason why if you are reporting these vulnerabilities, then your report will get flagged as informative, right? Now, there can be some other ways to work around this one. For example, let us say that you have found a low hanging vulnerability, like let's say you have found self excesses, right? Now, by the nature of self excesses, you cannot send the excesses payload to the victim, right? Because self excesses means that it is going to be executed on your end only, right? But if you are somehow able to find some other vulnerabilities, like let's say you are able to find a CSRF vulnerability, let's say login or logout CSRF or something like that, right? So maybe you can change the login and logout CSRF or maybe in general, you can change the CSRF along with the self accesses to show the actual impact. For example, if you can create a CSRF POC and when the user click on that, you know, submit button and if the XSS gets executed on their end, then you have a valid vulnerability, right? So this is something that is very important. So whenever you have found a vulnerability or a low hanging vulnerability, always try to chain it with other vulnerabilities so that the impact, the overall impact will get increased, right? This is something which is very important. So for your information, I already have created a lot of videos on how we can chain vulnerabilities. Like recently I have dropped a video on how we can use combine course misconfiguration along with cross site scripting to, you know, help to increase the impact. Along with that, I also have created a video on self accesses, uh, click jacking, right? So if you are interested, then feel free to check it out. The link of all of these videos are, are already given in the description, right? So the key point over here is that whenever you, are, you have found a low hanging vulnerability or whenever in general you have found a vulnerability, always try to think from the attacker's perspective and try to chain it with other vulnerabilities to increase the impact right and now let us move to the last method finally if your report is marked as informative and you think that uh, you have shown the potential impact and you're not satisfied with the result then you can request for mediation right basically you can request with the support of the particular program for example check out this report of mine Okay, where I reported a valid vulnerability, but initially it was marked as informative. Even after multiple follow up and even after showing the impact to the program, they didn't reply to the report. So as a last resort, I requested for mediation and eventually after two or three days later, the report finally got triaged and got accepted. Right. So remember this, that this will be your last option, right? Like if you have done everything, you, you think that the report has potential impact and threat to the, uh, the organization, then as a last resort, go ahead and use the mediation sup support from the hacker one, right? And let's say you're hunting on some other platform, then you can, you know, direct, get, directly get the uh, support email, support contact for of the particular platform, right? And that will help you to, you know, change the ruling and status of your report from informative to accepted. Right. So these are all the methods using which you can, you know, uh, change your report status from informative to triaged or accepted. I hope you have enjoyed this. If you have any doubts, if you have any issues, feel free to let me know your doubts or issues in the comment section. Also do join our telegram channel. If you want to stay updated with the latest trends and technologies going under cybersecurity, bug bounty and ethical hacking. And with that being said, keep learning, keep hacking and Thank you so much for watching.